So a lot of you guys are probably thinking, you know, hey, it's 2017, why are people still using physical keyboards? This is actually a plus, man. This is something refreshing to use. Instead of using the same old thing with all of our smartphones, having a physical keyboard has actually been pretty good. Uh, I've been using this phone for a week now, like a full seven days. And I wanted to give you a follow-up video on it so far and let you know how it's doing. So I'm gonna start with some things that it's not doing so well. Uh, so first is the touch response. Like um, sometimes when I'm using this phone, I'll try to touch something and it'll it'll touch the app next to it or close to it. It just won't um, open up what it's supposed to open up. And this happens uh, sometimes um, and sometimes it doesn't. So, you know, there's been a lot of times where I've just been pressing, looking for something and I press it and it goes to something else. And I'm like, Ugh, okay, so I gotta go back and get it again. So the, the touch response or touch sensitivity or the calibration of the screen, you know, I, some would say, yo, go ahead and factory reset it. But you know, I'm tired of factory resetting phones. But I don't know if that's what would, would fix this, but it's been doing that since I got it. So and it hadn't, hasn't gotten any worse, but it hasn't gotten any better. So maybe that's just the key one. If you have a key one and you have that issue, let me know in the comments. If you don't, maybe I will do a factory reset or maybe I'll calibrate the screen again. Now, the next thing that I don't really care for on this phone is this convenience key. Now, the convenience key can be set to launch apps, and I have it set to launch the camera, but you can't take photos with it after you launch it. I think the only time a phone should have a hard button on it is if it's for a camera. Uh, I think that's, and it needs to be able to use the button to, to take photos as well. So I keep that disabled, and I just set that up just for the, the video. Uh, but you definitely can set it to any application. You can set it for functions, everything. Now, there's another um, thing in here. It's the productivity page. Now, the productivity page is something that I disabled as well uh, because, uh, and it's located under display, if you wanted to know. The productivity tab is right there. It's the little one that comes out of the side right here. So you see, that comes out of the side. I don't see the purpose of that uh, because um, it's just another thing that I don't use. And the reason I don't use it is because, well, I've got all my things right here. They gave me all of these things right here out as a shortcut. And these are the things that I need to use. So I just didn't feel the need to have another thing that I have to swipe over for. I can just go into the applications, create my events, or go directly into uh, the application. I just don't see it. Now, another thing that I, I disabled, and you might say, well, what in the world? Well, I disabled the hub. Using the hub on this phone is kind of a different experience than this phone. I don't know what it is. Using a hub on here just doesn't, it, it doesn't make any sense to me because all of the things that make the BlackBerry, BlackBerry, you can find them in the app store. You can make any Android phone in, 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 in a BlackBerry experience. So with my experience with the hub on this phone, and maybe I just haven't used the hub in a long time, but the hub seemed unorganized. It just didn't seem right. And my Gmail, um, I, I like to keep everything organized, dropping it into folders, certain folders, putting it here, putting it there. And the hub just seemed cluttered for the first time ever. It's a great place, but to, to have all your things together, you can individually separate and look at only certain things. But to me, I might as well just use the application. I just didn't see the purpose of doing that. And, you know, it's nice, uh, but I just disabled it, man. I was like, you know, I'm not even going to use the hub because, you know, I don't want to get notifications in all these different places. So... I got my social media here, and this is where I'm going to uh, use, you know, take my normal spill of doing it like this. So another thing um, I think that um, is, um, I guess, not so great uh, is the keyboard down here. Now, the reason I'm saying it's not so great is because I don't have the passport in, in this video, but you'll see it in another video. This keyboard right here is wider and a little bit taller. And it's the clickiness is so much better on this, that classic. And it's even better on the Passport. It's not that, some people thought in the other video, I said that I hated this, bump cam, I hated this um, keyboard, but I don't hate the keyboard. It's just small. And but believe it or not, with time, I'm getting my, I'm getting my groove back. You know, I'm, I'm starting to, to use this. But for the most part, like I said in the other video, I can flop this bad boy in landscape mode and type away really fast with the on-screen keyboard. But really, I've been doing it like this, and I've been using it with one hand also. So this phone has a 4.5 inch uh, 1080p by 1620 display. Uh, it's got 12 megapixels on the back, which is absolutely just oh, so stunning. 
Uh, it's just good. The front camera is eight megapixel. And again, I said in another video, these are supposed to be the Pixels cameras from the previous generation and they're fantastic. Uh, three gigs of RAM isn't enough. That's another thing I just don't really care for. Uh, the, the three gigs of RAM is it's really just not enough. Uh, but this, this thing shines in a lot of ways, man. Double tap to sleep, double tap to wake. A home button has a fingerprint reader, which I think is genius. That is just fantastic, man. Uh, the form factor of this phone is absolutely stunning. Now, when I first pulled this out the box, I was like, ah, this feels a little plasticky. This cold metal feel, I really like it. I mean, look at this hardware. This phone is different than any other phone that's on the market right now, and this is a phone from 2017. So we have to appreciate this. We don't all want to be the same. And I got a headphone jack too. Now, there's no water resistance or anything like that. Uh, but again, those aren't requirements for me. I'm perfectly fine with that. So the overall experience uh, with the hardware has grown on me. It feels premium after using it for a while. I like that cold metal touch. Uh, I'm really feeling it. Um, you know, the form factor is good. It's got these rounded corners, so it's not digging into my palm of my hand. This is a boss looking device. Cameras are sweet. Microphones on here for recording are absolutely great, man. They are off the charts. They really are. Um, another thing is the obvious, the battery. I mean, the battery on this thing is, whew, it is so good, man. On every charge, I'm grabbing probably six to seven hours of screen on time, and the phone is lasting about a day and a half uh, or so. Maybe, maybe close to two, maybe a day and a half, close, more like a day and a half. It has just been consistent, though. I haven't gotten anything different. I, I mean, I guess on the worst time, I could get five hours of screen on time, but the phone lasted for over two days. You see, so it balances itself out. This is a great phone on battery, and that's because of that Snapdragon 625. I think the, the phone itself has too many things on here that might be slowing it down, like this BlackBerry stuff, this security stuff. Uh, personally, I don't have to have all that. I was talking to someone and I was like, you know what? This phone could have come out and it didn't have to be from BlackBerry. It could have been just a phone that TCL made and called it the TCL Key One or just the Android Key One. And I think it still would have did fantastic, man. I think it would have sold just the same. Then they probably could have sold it at a different price point and then really sold a boatload of them. But everybody just would have said, oh, that's a BlackBerry. So they made the right choice. Overall, my experience with this, the few things that I pointed out that I'm not too happy with, that's, that's small, minor things. You might say, oh, no, I like those, Jay, and that's perfectly fine. But for me, um, you will see more BlackBerry videos coming soon with this BlackBerry, a follow-up, and a Passport follow-up. Look for that, comparing it to this phone. I think productivity on this phone is definitely better than some other phones that claim to do productivity. Um, the only thing this phone doesn't have over the Note, pretty much, is the S Pen. Uh, but all these, all this functionality here, the way it's put together, um, it's really good. Uh, you know, the Note is a fantastic phone, uh, but I think as far as productivity goes, um, you know, I don't know. I'd, I'd, I'd have to just compare them. You know, everybody gets so sensitive about the Note. Like, it's the best, it's the best. Uh, you know, it, it is what it is. It's all about preference and choice. And the Note just has the S Pen, which makes it great for productivity. And, and the S Pen Suite. After that, it's just an Android phone. And with this phone, it is just an Android phone, but I think it can pretty much do what the Note could do. You just get a, you get a, a smaller screen though, but you get that physical keyboard. Um, I don't know. This is this has turned out to be a fantastic purchase, man. I am so happy that I brought this in. Even though it was late in 2017, who's counting? I don't care what, when I buy a device. Um, this has been good to me. These last seven days have been fantastic, and I will give you probably a two-week follow-up. And uh, LTE service has been fantastic. Uh, no problem. I really like this front grille, man. That is sweet. I like this. This phone looks, it just looks good, man. For those that are asking about my wallpaper, that wallpaper is from one of my old Blackberries from like four years ago, man. <laughs> I, I just kept it stored away and I kept it, um, it was stored in the cloud for me and I just pulled it out and it's like, you know what, this phone right here gets the BlackBerry approval. I'll even start going back to my BlackBerry intros. If you go back, if you see some of my, 
my BlackBerry intros, I have a special intro for BlackBerry, and maybe I will use that old school uh, BlackBerry intro. But this phone does have gestures, and I mean, it's a it's an Android phone, man. It's not something uh, that you should just write off. I've, I posted something on social media, and a lot of the people out there who don't have the phone came out. Oh, that's stupid. A, a keyboard in 2017, that phone's trash. I just mute them and keep it moving. I don't even <laughs> I don't even pay them any attention because they they don't have the phone more than likely. And you know they just they're just trying to, you know, start trouble. But you can double click, double click the camera uh, with the for the power button. But you can also set this convenience key to open the camera, which I think would be a better choice. So the convenience key I talked about it earlier, it's not really something I use, but you can set it for any app. I mean, it's all the apps I have on my phone are there. You can do speed dials, messages, shortcuts. Uh, here's all the shortcuts, uh, and there is a lot of them. I mean, you got. I don't need to go through them. But you can do pretty much what you want to do with that. Now, just because I disabled the hub and disabled the convenience key, uh, you know, stuff like that, that's just the way I want to use the phone. But this is running 7.1.1. Uh, I think this is actually going to get Android um, 8.02. So this is a good look, man. They left, you know, BlackBerry OS behind. Um, but I still like uh, BlackBerry 10. And you will see another BlackBerry sitting right here. I'll bring in, I'll give you that video soon. Uh, but this phone has won me over, man. I, I've, I've been really enjoying using this. Kind of hard to put it down. I actually put my SIM card in my iPhone 8 Plus and took it out and put it back into this phone, man. Like my main SIM. Uh, it's been great. It's been fantastic. So follow-up videos coming on, coming up on some other devices because I, I am using testing several phones. Uh, but it's your man, Jay Will. Uh, yeah, this is the the key one and it has been a joy to use so i'll see you in the next video take care